You can't talk to Debbie like that. I love her. You what? Previously, on a girl named Joe. Business waits for no man, sister. You mean the business you've been doing with Barnes' father? Never should have trusted you. Our fathers built this town, and let's face it, they're not getting any younger. But you and me, we need to think about the future. You better tell me the truth right now! I'm afraid you seriously injured poor Dwight. You mean he could die? The police are going to bring you in for questioning tonight. It's just a fractured arm. Once I get out of here, no more booze, I promise. I hope so. What is this? Valium for the pain. We've decided to stay together and raise this child together. If you want my advice, Lawrence, get out of town. Run away. It's Lawrence Dupont. I need your help. Of course. Wake up, dear. Your brother wants to speak with you. Henry? No, silly. Ray's on the line. Come on, up, up. Ray? How's school going, buddy? Finley is horrible. They call me a runt. And the other boys trapped me in a sleeping bag. Why aren't you making any friends? <sighs> Everyone's cruel to me because of what Henry did. What Henry did? To his teacher. Did he hurt somebody? Not hurt. It's time for school, Kathy. Let me say goodbye to Ray. I gotta go, Kathy. I, got, I gotta go. Don't believe anything he says. Henry's a liar. Kathy? Is everything all right, dear? I don't know. I know her name is Joe. Her last name I don't know. When I close my eyes, I'll be. had fled town since the incident at school. All we know is that Alice Hargrove had been getting postcards from him every so often from fancy resorts he was visiting with his parents. Totally out of the blue? We had no idea. Is it awful to admit that I don't even want to meet the baby? I mean, we're supposed to be welcoming them into our family. Well. Like I told you, my Aunt Loretta's got an extra bedroom in her house in Brooklyn. That's sounding less and less crazy every day. What are you two gossiping about? Oh, well, nothing. Just the devil spawn joining my family. Better out chambers than a Fitzroy. Ray called again this morning. He was saying something about Henry. Did you ever get to the bottom of what he was doing with Lawrence's dad? No, but my father was none too pleased. Lawrence DuPont again. He better stay away or I'll break his arm. He's still not at school? Gone. Apparently with his parents on vacation. Speaking of brothers, I need to have a talk with yours. I don't like the sound of that. How is it having him back? I don't want to jinx it, but so far so good. You can call him dad yesterday. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Alan. It wasn't good for you being there all alone. Well, give it time. I'm sure Lenny will get up to his old tricks again. Anyway. Any word from Lawrence? Yeah, I got another postcard from him yesterday. It's from him, all right. Who else has such a pompous signature? But it just doesn't sound like Lawrence. Yeah, it definitely feels like an awful long time for a family vacation. And again, this school's been a lot more tolerable without Lawrence Dupont causing trouble. <laughs> You're not wrong. Hi, Junior. Hi, Kathy. Can 
me talk. Sure. We can, but why don't I just save you the trouble? You and I had a fun time at Phoenix Fest. And we thought we could be something more. And even if I wanted it to be, your head and your heart are somewhere else. I'm sorry, Junior. I really wanted to like you like that. It's just somewhere along the way. Or someone along the way. I know it's a cliche, but it's not you. It's me, and you're the sweetest guy in Attaway, and you deserve to be with someone who knows what she wants. And what do you want, Kathy? Have a moment, sir? What is it, Henry? Now is not a good time. What's the matter? The numbers for the contractors are all cockeyed, and I can't get a hold of Chuck DuPont. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? It'll sort itself out, right, Pop? We Fitzroy's walk a gilded path. The truth is, Henry, since you stuck your nose where it didn't belong, everything with the hotel has gotten off kilter. I've hardly... We? Fitzroy's. We walk the path we pave, and you have never been one to stay in line. No, hear me now. I don't want you anywhere near the hotel. Take the rest of the day off, and starting tomorrow, you're gonna work in the back office, at the very bottom, and very slowly work your way up. Like you said, we walk the path we pave. I'll remember that from now on. I love you all. Close the door behind you. That's a good question, Betty. Chemical reactions rearrange the electrons, while nuclear reactions actually change an element into something else altogether. Fascinating. Indeed. Nuclear equations. I bet Cassidy is such a brown loser. It's not always a bad idea to stay in people's good graces. How are you feeling? Better, mostly. Although I still haven't seen the other guy. I'm going to skip town pretty fast. Guess you got in some good punches. So how about that ice cream? Are you free later today? I still don't think it's a good idea. Junior and I broke up this morning. Come on. I can see if Joe and Abby can come too. If you insist. Hello, Dolly. It's all the rage on Broadway. How do you get to Broadway? Practice. Very funny. <laughs> From bed you take the subway. The subway. More gossiping? What is that? Looks like something my mother wouldn't approve of. Add it to the list. You two free after school today? How's about ice cream at the diner? Over no my way. dead body. Please. Dwight said he'd only come if you two were in. Dwight? Junior and I decided to be just friends. And your brother and I are just friends too. Which is why the four of us are hanging out after school. And I won't take no as an answer. I got approval from high up. $200,000. <laughs> Good man. But like I said, without two signatures, my hands are tied. Like I said, it's not going to be a problem. What do I sign? And uh, you're sure the DuPonts will go for this? Beyond the shadow of a doubt.
someone in to see me? Come in, Abby. Take a seat. How are you holding up after that awful skirmish? I'm fine, but Dwight got his arm broken really bad. It's despicable the way you've been treated. If I wasn't the principal here, I'd say this school needs a good sit-in. What do you mean? When I was a student, before all this, we used to sit in public places demanding equal service for all our brothers and sisters. So you think we should boycott the school? How about somewhere else in town? Somewhere that deserves it. Get Joe Chambers to help you. She knows how to push the envelope. Only, well, with me and her father, the idea would have to come from you. Let's see how this should go here. Come on. Hello. Oh, hiya, Debbie. Yeah, I'm just uh, building a crib for the baby. What do you mean, no rush? I'm slaving away here. Intruding? Debbie, Debbie! Even now, more than 50 years later, I am filled with regret. My friends knew to stay away from the diner. They knew it was a bad idea, but I had my own agenda, my own path to pave. I mean, can you believe how much that Betty Cassidy sucks up to Mr. Gibson? Not to gossip, but I heard she has a boyfriend at Millwood. The one who's always reading The Hobbit? Boys like the smart girls. I mean, look at Kathy. What do you want here? Oh, can we have four strawberry shakes, two burgers, and an Omama? No. No? I've been patient with you two because your families do business down at the bank. But nowadays, this is the Attaway Diner, not Millwood, not nowhere else. So I'm gonna say this to you once. We don't serve their kind here. Get out of here! Now! Scram! What is this? It's just a little pick-me-up from the dock. Are you kidding me? Help me sleep. I can't do this again. This isn't fair, Lenny! I'm sorry, son. I know. I'm more trouble than I'm worth. Dad! 
Dad, that horrible Ernie won't sell to Abby or Dwight at the diner. We can't sell to him. So Abby says we're going to protest next week. So no matter what you say, we're doing it. Where are you? Your father's upstairs setting up a crib, kiddo. Uncle Bobby, what are you doing here? Well, came home to help raise a baby, but if you want to raise some hell at the diner, I'm on board for that too. There were so many pieces on the board. So many unanswered questions and so many players in different spots. Uh, to cheer you up. But it wouldn't be long before everything fell into place. Now I just need John Hancock right over here. Any funny business, these can go more <laughs> tighter. <laughs> Good boy. You know, your, your daddy's gonna be so proud of you. You know, the bank now owes us $200,000. Well, me. <laughs> As for you, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with you yet. If you behave yourself, you might just walk out of here alive. 